Hey guys, so using APT install BetterCap, we've seen how to use BetterCap using help, how to get help with the tools to see what are the tools like that. So, in this video, we are going to hack a computer that victim watches using this BetterCap. So, just so we need to type BetterCap CAP. Okay, it changes to green. So, iPhone help. So now see how the help are showing here. So so I'm searching for high face. So see we are using this high face icon high face string. So this high face is used to for it is known as interface. Short form is high face to set the interface. See network interface to blind. So if it is empty, it will be auto selected. So I'm clicking here, typing better cap iPhone high face. ETH zero. So the interface is mine. So I'm going to show you typing if config. See, I am using Ethernet connection. So it's showing ETH was zero. So it IP address is 10.0.24. So under this connection, the butter cap will be work. See, ETH was zero. So we minimize it. So we type ETH was zero. When we press enter, see. 10.0.24 is our IP address, and so it's showing. If we did not give this Ethernet, so it will assign this connection. So we now in my system. So ETH was so, so showing my IP address. So when I type help, so already we seen this. So all the lists are available here. See, all this are running. So only even stream is running. So other than the thing is running so we need to turn on all the things first we need to turn on net dot probe so here i'm typing help net dot probe dot no command dot probe so pressing enter so it's showing what about this net probe so i need to use the command so it send a dummy packet okay to every possible so this command is used for sending dummy packets so net dot probe on this command is to start probing in background so we start this net dot probe on so the connection is now on so recon is also on because requirement of net probe see so requirement of net probe net recon is also on so now we are so we type help see net probe is running and net recon is also running because net probe needs red nikon okay so we detected so it's running without any problem so now i'm opening a new terminal so here we scan iphone scan dot list so we need to scan it what are the possible network on my router so when i just press enter okay it's okay i'm not a user so i'm going to be a user so i'm running the same command here yeah, okay. scan iphone l so enter see these are the device connected to my network so i'm closing this so i'm down so now we have to run erp spoof command for spoofing so before we use erp spoof now we are using erp dot spoofing this better cap to done the job so help space arp sorry arp dot spoof and press enter you will see here so arp spoof dot on to start this arp so before that erp is full duplex if true the target gateway will be attacked otherwise the target only attacked by this so internet will not connect it to this target so if this is default it is false so we need to make it true to attack both gateway and target otherwise it will only target it will attack only target so the command to set it to is set set arp dot spoof dot full duplex if you learn duplex so plus step to auto complete is true T R U E. so it run without any problem so it is set to true second one the arp spoof target ARP spoof target. So we need to set ARP spoof target. So we need to set an IP address, target IP address dot target targets. 
So I'm going to my Windows machine and typing CMD. So I'm going up if config. Oh, network center. See, ten point two point fifteen. So I'm closing this. I'm coming to this ten point zero point. Sorry, ten point. So I made a mistake. So I can set another time. So ERP dot spoof dot targets ten dot zero dot two dot fifteen. So I press enter. So now ERP spoof on. So it started without any problem. So starting. Proofing one target. So going to Windows, ERP minus A. You see that 10.0.24 is added. Just same IP address and MAC address. So clicking here, and I type if config, see 10.0.2.4 and same MAC address is connected to this Windows MAC address. So now my, my Kali Linux machine is connected to this using ERP. So now I can able to watch by enabling net.spoof. Okay. So you see ERP spoof is running in background. So next we need to we need to capture all the data by using net.snip. By typing here help net.snip. So we see all the things are listed here. So, so we need to run net dot smooth by clicking here net dot sniff sn iff on by pressing enter. So we are started net dot sniff on. See at this IP address. So we are successfully started net dot sniff. See if I am going to my Windows and starting. So by searching anything, so already I search a H here. Okay, I'm just see. I'm going to Bing.com. So it's capturing what the what the base or the URL I'm going on. So again, I'm going to this Bing here and type vulnerable. It's a famous website for vulnerability. So I'm clicking here. So it's just a vulnerable page. So this page is written by Python. So some kind of Thing. So I'm testing this file. So see, we are captured. I'm using. I'm went to vulnerable web. So I'm clicking here. So I'm going to this website. See, it directing me test.html file dot vulnerable. See. So now I'm here logging. So I'm giving a fake password. Like this is our HTTP connection. So H is my username. I'm typing as this my password. So I'm pressing log in so i'm logging in with this hhhh so what we what the linux is capture is so we are going to linux see the username is hhhh so it captured that so you see the username and the password pp is captured here so all the thing is captured here this is because of http connection so hypertext transfer protocol because it will not secure anything. HTTPS is secured one. HTTP is they just send a normal text file to communication. But HTTP is secured one. You guys understand how it works. HTTP connection. So HTTP, we can see what the host is, what the accept, what the connection is alive, what the funds agent is Mozilla Firefox, uh, content, username, password, what uh, all are sharing in normal text file. But in HTTP, HTTPS connection, all this file are encrypted. So I'm going to facebook.com. See, I'm logging the page. So I'm just clicking, uh, I'm just type something on keyboard, just logging in. So I'm going to here. See, in HTTP connection, it is not captured. See, I'm going to facebook.com. It's showing. So nothing is captured. Because it is an HTTPS connection, because Facebook is running HTTPS connection. So you can see now it's just uh, showing Facebook.com like that. It's just showing what website I'm going to visit. Only in HTTP connection we can get all the information. In HTTPS, it's all secured. So don't worry. Future videos, in future videos, we are going to.
decrypt that encrypted data in HTTPS connections. So in this video, you can understand how to capture details, websites, and HTTPS connection websites that victim watches. I hope guys, this will help you in learning in cybersecurity field. Thank you for watching. We are going to see interesting in next video. Interesting topic. Thanks for watching.